40 percent three-point shooter in his first year in yep. college which go back and track a lot of these guys that played harrison that's barnes insane. a late shooter that's it those are insane numbers because usually you know your sophomore your junior year you start to shoot the ball better i mean Devin Booker didn't shoot the ball well in college, percentage-wise. He didn't. Like, you had to convince people, no, 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 he's really a shooter. It's just he's young. Grady Dick's an elite shooter and a very good athlete, just not a particularly good defender. But I, I do think that he has the I'm gonna push back. Practice. I'm going to push back with you a little bit on the defense. I think it got better over the course of it the did. year. And I think he took pride in it and became, you know, an average to plus defender. Okay, I, I I really do. Again, he's more athletic than you think, right? And we saw yep. that over the course of the year. You know, you you have those kind of moments where you're like, whoa, like you didn't see that coming. I there, think. Great, like, listen, if Corey Kispert was drafted 14 or 15, whatever he went, Grady Dick has, has two or three inches on Kispert. He's a better athlete. He's a better defender, and he's as good if not going to be a better shooter, because like you said, as a freshman, he shot 40% from three on a team in which everybody knew he was kind of the one dude that you had to press up on. So I think Grady yeah. Dick is going to be one of the best shooters in this league in a few years. So, so again, so we talk about limiting factors, okay? There, there's three things that will put you on the bench in the NBA, right? If you can't shoot, you can't guard, or you're not tough. Really, it can't shoot because they can find a way at six foot eight to hide you defensively if you can shoot yes. and if you're tough, right? right. I mean, for Anthony Black, he's tough and he can guard. Right now, he's not a good enough shooter. Shoot. So, yeah. so I, I I do think that Grady Dick he picked the right school as well because even though they had to hide him some, you played for a guy that doesn't let you have practices off defensively, that doesn't let you have possessions off defensively in big games, that challenges you. And he did, in fact, improve. And I think that's part of the, the, the toughness and competitiveness component where you're trying to factor in, okay, when you play against better players and you have more space to cover them, do you have the – it's just about being competitive, right? Are you going to be competitive and yeah. keep them in front? Re really, is, we're not expecting to be Michael Cooper and lock dudes up. So, again, I agree with you. Michael better prospect Cooper. than Kisper. Like, hey, like anybody watching our show right now knows who Michael Cooper is. <laughs> 